while we have these rattlesnakes here this is not advisable you don't play with venomous snakes at all let's go ahead and talk about them dispel some of the fears and misconceptions now they're not evil they're not hateful they're not angry or aggressive they want nothing to do with you uh, you're not on the menu and they could care less uh, the rattles they have those are warnings those are to tell you that they don't want to be around you or to back off that's why the rattles there now little snakes baby rattlesnakes you might have heard are more dangerous than the adults and that's true in its own way now the adults can strike further and they can seem a lot more menacing but the babies lack control when it comes to uh, the venom that they're going to be injecting uh, the baby if it's to bite you most likely will give you everything it's got it's not so much that the venom is more potent it's not it's that they're going to give you everything the adults once they mature they're going to have the control to hold back a bit. Uh, they'll decide where you stand as far as a threat, and sometimes there will be a dry bite, especially with humans. That means no venom at all. And uh, other times you're only going to inject a little bit of venom, knowing that the next day there might be something else attack. They might need it uh, before they're able to create more venom, and that's important. So uh, be careful around snakes leave them alone uh, one last note when it comes to rattles these guys have little bitty buttons these probably aren't more than two or three months old if that um, buttons happen whenever the snake sheds and a lot of people say that's that's one a year well there's a few different factors there if there's really good temperatures warm temperatures lots of food that means they're going to grow faster and that means they're going to shed more. And the more they shed, every single molting is going to result in a new rattle.